Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today. And what have I got for you this week? Um, I kept kind of doing the same sort of makeup look with different items. And it's what I'm wearing right now. So this kind of makeup look was what I was going for this week. And honestly, I may continue it into next week because I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, so I want to share those different products with you. And I do have a fooey again this week. So I've really been trying to like investigate the fooies, you know, find out which products really aren't working for me and actually mention them and not just kind of think, oh, well, that wasn't the best, but actually keep those to the side and tell you why they didn't work. So yeah, lots to talk about as always. So let's get into it. So the makeup look that I was doing this week was really natural eyes, a very neutral kind of lid, um, a really kind of strong liner on my upper lash line and either something really light or nothing on my lower lash line. So right now I'm not wearing anything on my lower lash line um, and then a really dark lip. So I just really like that combo. Something about nothing on the lower lash line really emphasizes that liner. So it's all about the liner and the lips and I just, I really like it. I think it's such a fun look for fall and winter. So anyway, earlier in the week I was using my Sigma Smokescreen Palette. Um, I really like Sigma's eyeshadows. This one is um, kind of like a just a smoky neutral palette. I love their shadows because they they just blend really easily. They wear so well on the eyes. Like I will go and look at my eye makeup later in the day, and it's still intact, like looking really nice intact, which is a rarity because I have really oily lids. Um, but anyway, I was going for the neutral colors. So this one right here. I love this blending shade. It's one of my favorites in the palette. This kind of like taupey color. So they're really pigmented, but they're just easy shadows to use. That's why I really love them. They're not, they're not frustrating. You know what I mean? Like they just, they're just easy to use. So there's that one right there. Just really pretty, very natural. Um, I don't know what I think about the Fall Softly palette or the collection. I love the collection. Like the blushes and the lipsticks and stuff look really pretty, but I don't know if I'm going to get the palette. It looks a little bit too light. I don't know. Tell me what you think about it if you've seen pictures, but because I love Sigma eyeshadows. Love, love, love them, but I just don't know about that palette. So you let me know what you think about that, but I was loving this this week. And then I also broke out my BH Cosmetics It's Judy Time palette, and I didn't mention this in my favorite eyeshadows for fall video, but I totally could have, um, because this is a very pretty palette for the fall. Um, I kind of forget about it is honestly why I didn't mention it, but it's really, really good. I broke it out this week, and I do really enjoy it. So it has really pretty warm blending shades, and just, I mean, that one. So gorgeous. And then this brow bone highlight is really nice too. I mean, you can see they're very pigmented and they wear well on the eyes too. It's not very expensive. I want to say it's like, I don't know, between 10 and $15, I guess, based on whatever sale they've got going on. I mean, look at that color. That is so pretty. <gasps> yeah. And something about warm tones with kind of a, a lip like this, like a dark, dark red lip, I think is so pretty. So I wore that this week. I love the BH Cosmetics palettes. I really do. Um, I've gotten some of them that are kind of a bust, but overall, I like them. Like, I really like the Forever Nude palette. I like this one. Um, so I do think they have some really good products. So anyway, I was wearing that this week, um, those kind of warm tone neutrals and enjoying them. And then I also used my Too Faced Natural Eyes palette several times this week, and that's what I'm wearing today. I love this palette. I really, really do. Now, I would say if you have the chocolate bar palette, you don't need this too, um, because you could very much get a similar look with the chocolate bar palette. Um, but I just really love this palette for a neutral look. So today I'm wearing, this is my brow bone highlight, that's Heaven. I'm wearing Silk Teddy on my lid, Cashmere Bunny, uh, and what is that? Nudie. <laughs> in my crease and then one of the darker ones um, in my outer corner. I mean, look at those lighter colors. <gasps> so pretty on the lid to have like a really light, bright lid and then just a really kind of neutral dark brown outer corner and then with that dark lip, <sighs> yeah, such a gorgeous look. <gasps> I mean, look at that. That one, the br really bright one is, I think that was Silk Teddy. What was it? Silk Teddy, yeah. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I just love that. Gorgeous. So I love this palette. I feel like it's just a great, 
easy, natural, natural eyes palette. Just a great one to have in your collection to wear with these kind of dark lips. I mean, you cannot go wrong. You could do any combination and it would work. Even like a dark smoky eye, like a dark brown smoky eye with a dark lip like this, I would totally do that. And I think it would be really, really pretty. So this is a great palette. But again, like I said, if you have a chocolate bar palette, you probably don't need this too. I would say that one's probably a better bang for your buck because you get more options with that one. But I do really like this because it's small, it's compact, it's good for travel, and it's just um, an easy kind of palette to grab. You know what I mean? But I love it with the dark lip. It just works. So Tarte has this little cheek set called the Pigment of Imagination. And I'm pretty sure that this is an online exclusive because I got it from Sephora's website. And it's only $10 for this cute little set. You get a blush and then you get a little cheek stain, which is pretty much a highlight. The color of this is a highlight but it is so much fun. I'm wearing the blush right now. I'm not wearing the highlight, but um, I have been this week and really loving it. So first off, the blush is cute and little and adorable. I love the packaging and I just love tiny little things. And I think this is great. Just, I like little products because this is still gonna take forever to go through, um, but then you get like different options in your collection because you have little tiny things and I don't know. I just like little tiny blushes and little tiny lipsticks and they're just fun. So Mirage is kind of a light peachy pink color. It's really natural, really beautiful. Again, it goes so well when you're doing that um, dark lip. It just goes really well with that look. Oh, it's so pretty. And then this highlight is called Fantasy. And it's like a rose gold kind of a highlight color. And it really is, you'll see it, it's very pigmented. I mean, oh my goodness, <gasps> look at that. It even like makes the camera, the lighting go weird because it's so reflective. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, and this set is $10. So I think it's so much fun. I would highly, highly, highly recommend this for yourself and also gifts. Um, I got a couple extra just for gifts. I thought that was such a cute little, you know, cause it's really nice makeup and $10, that's a really inexpensive gift. So anyway, I love that little set. So I hadn't even really heard a lot of people talk about it, so I was excited to see it. I think I first saw it on Instagram, and that's how I kind of um, was alerted to it being on Sephora's website. So Pigment of Imagination, so cute. Okay, now for a couple of dark lip favorites this week. So first is my Trina Tarantino lipstick. This is the Conditioning Lip Sheen in Floriculture. I got this in a BoxyCharm, and oh my goodness. This lipstick is so pretty and so versatile. Let me show you two options. So you can really build it up and get like a really pretty kind of dark, um, vampy, berry wine color, or you can do a really light layer and just kind of blend it out and get a really cute kind of pinky berry stain to your lips or light kind of, I don't know, that kind of popsicle lip look. Isn't that cute? And it's really comfortable on the lips. Oh, it's so nice. And you can see it's kind of like, um, it looks like it's patchy, but really once you get it on your lips, it all blends together. It doesn't look like that. It's just the swatch. I love it. It is so versatile and comfortable. I would definitely wear it with a lip liner. Um, I pretty much wear a lip liner with every dark lip color, even mattes, but especially creamy formulas. I would recommend a lip liner if you go full on with it. If you go more like that, it's not as big of a deal, but full on like that, I would wear a lip liner. But it's just, oh, such a fun fall color. And then what I'm wearing on my lips right now, this is because of Ashley. She sent me a picture of herself wearing this lipstick and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to break out that lipstick because it looked so gorgeous on her. This is Maybelline's Creamy Matte in Divine Wine. Oh my gosh. Now that I've worn this more this week, I really feel like this is probably my favorite dark lip ever. And that says a lot. In this color range, this really dark kind of red wine color. Yeah, this is my favorite. It's so opaque, it's perfect. It wears really well on the lips, it's creamy, it's not uncomfortable. It is a matte, but it's a very creamy, comfortable matte. I love that color, I just love it, oh my gosh. And I feel like it's dark and vampy, but for some reason I feel like it's not like whoa, like overwhelming, scary dark on my face, you know, cause I'm really pale. So I feel like it still works. 
Um, the lip liner I'm wearing is the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Plush Plum. And then I've also got a little bit of Max Night Moth too. Sometimes I kind of like um, both. Like this one, I kind of lined my lips, um, but you know, it's a retractable. So it's a little bit more difficult to get a very defined line. Whereas a pencil that you can sharpen, you can get it really pointy. So you can get a, you know, a more defined line. So Night Moth is the, wait, that one. <laughs> Night Moth is the darker one right there. So pretty. So you can see kind of what that looks like. Mm. I love it. I seriously am obsessed with this lipstick. If you are looking for a dark, super, super red, blood red kind of um, a lipstick color, mm, I would get this. Go to Walmart or Target, because they're like 550. I love all of these. Love, love, love the creamy mattes from Maybelline. But this color right here is a must have. It is incredible. And then for my Fooey this week, so I went to wear um, this liner from Jane, water resistant eyeliner, and this is in the color Charcoal. So I went to wear this on my lower lash line because I didn't want um, a harsh line. I was going for kind of lighter on my lower lash line. I think I'm allergic to this or something because no joke, within a few minutes of having this on my eyes, my eyes were profusely watering and they were irritated and burning almost the whole day. So I know some people that love these eyeliners from Jane and they're not very expensive and I've heard that they're very long wearing. I don't know about the longevity of them because my eyes were immediately watering. <laughs> I think I'm just allergic to them. So, I mean, they seem nice and pigmented and you know, whatever, but they do not work for my eyes. Ooh, oh my gosh, they hurt my eyes so bad. So uh, at least that one, maybe it's just specific to that color, but this guy does not like me and I do not like him either. <laughs> all right guys, so those are all my Friday favorites and fooies for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know what you've been loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans, how your week was. I just love chatting with you guys about life. Um, and I wanted to say, oh my goodness, I just reached 10,000 subscribers just a few days ago and I can't even believe it. Thank you so, so much. I just love you guys like I can't even say. I feel like y'all are like my little YouTube family and we're girlfriends and we talk about makeup and we talk about life and you're just such a joy in my life and I just love you and I'm so appreciative for each and every one of you. So thank you so much for all the support and love. Y'all are amazing. Um, so yeah, ask me any questions that you have down below. I'm always happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video.